Marty Uriavis, and I've been teaching here for 15 years, and I'm a forensic science teacher. This was at the end of my uh, career as a deputy, one of the veterans there. I was looking to, to get a permanent position there, but he suggested I check this campus out. I wish I'd have had uh, an opportunity to do this before I became a deputy. Surviving this long is probably the biggest accomplishment, but I, I did notice over the years that I didn't have the energy that I did, you know, 15 years ago. I, I wish I had the same amount of energy I had 15 years ago. But fortunately, I got a little wiser and was able to get it done anyway. Police officers are making $120,000, $130,000, $140,000 a year. Teachers aren't making that. And uh, I wasn't doing it for the money. Money was, you know, it's nice to get paid, always. But uh, uh, it's the kids. They, they have sustained me. Uh, the children are, uh, uh, that's the only reason to be here. Uh, Personality-wise, he, he had a silly side to him. Um, he obviously was a little serious, but that was only because, you know, we were learning heavier topics. But besides that, he was, he was very lighthearted, um, very sweet, very caring. Oh, he's hilarious. I think every single lecture, we take an extra hour just on the stories. I mean, he's told some really sad ones, but God, that man has some really great stories, like just funny overall. I love it. He's super charismatic. He is very humble. He talks a lot about uh, being humble and being like very ethical. Yeah, he's very goofy. He tells a lot of funny stories and he's not afraid to be the butt of the joke. <laughs> he tries to be like tough love with his students, but he's honestly very kind and forgiving to us. I'm, he has been like the greatest teacher I've ever had. And that's saying a lot because I've had some really good teachers, but he has a way of like explaining the topics, but then also relating it to a story that he's actually gone through himself, which I really do appreciate because a lot of people could just say, oh yeah, this is a crime scene. That's easy to do, but he actually has in-field experience that he, he brings to the classroom. I just want to tell him that like, he was just a good like, teacher. Like he made me very interactive with the subject. A lot of teachers struggle to do that. It's a lot of just paperwork, just, you know, mind-numbing information. I mean, that's kind of part of it, but he made it very, 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 very fun. So I do have to thank him for that. His teaching style is something that is remarkable and unique to most students in my class. He likes to tell a lot of stories, so it's more of an immersive and very hands-on type of teaching style. He never likes us to be bored in the class. It never wastes our time. Like, I have a lot of health issues, so I have to be absent a lot. But he's very understanding, and he makes the course doable for anyone. And he's willing to help anyone out if they need it. He had an impact on this school, and I think, and I think the newer students are going to miss out on a really unique teacher. And they're going to miss out on Mr. E, like, you know, the Mr. E experience. So yeah. What I really admire about him is that he's still a very positive person. He's able to just, you know, be goofy. A lot of people have struggled to do that after having a job like that. So the fact that he still has character and he's still full of life, it's just the, the energy he brings, just, yeah, it's, it's inspiring. I, I just want to thank him for being a very kind, caring, and immersive mentor in my life. And I have no doubt that he has had an influence on how I'm gonna help people. I hope he knows he's inspired a lot of students and I think it's made the school year a lot more bearable to have this class to look forward to. So I'm very thankful for him and I hope he enjoys his retirement with his wife. Have a good retirement. Please, please, please relax. Don't do anything crazy. I know you like to work, dude. Relax, take it easy, all right? Thank you so much for being the greatest teacher I've ever had. It's bittersweet. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm tired. Uh, it, it's not teaching that's hard, it's driving over the hill, uh, commuting two hours a day uh, on a good day. <laughs> you know, oh, it's, you know I'm, I'm 72 now and uh, I need to spend more time at home with, with my wife.